airport out front before the creepers get here. How you doing? My name's John Martin. I am a tech director at a rural elementary school in central New Hampshire. Um, I'm also a technology uh, advocate and consultant and self-proclaimed edu-imagineer. And I'd like to welcome you today to my first installment of Minecraft for Teachers. Uh, over time, we'll explore a little bit more about what Minecraft is and how we might be able to use it in education. Um, but for our first outing today, we're just going to take you through um, a little bit of what Minecraft is and how you start going with it, and you know the first few clicks uh, to get yourself going on that Minecraft journey. What I have here is just plain vanilla Minecraft. It um, is not Minecraft EDU, and so it doesn't have some of the same customizations that uh, those of you who have Minecraft EDU would see. Uh, I'm going to just jump right into single player mode here. And uh, I name all of my worlds, but I'm just going to create a new world here. And we're going to call it In the Beginning. Now, this is going to stay on survival mode, and, and part of that is because I want folks to have a sense of what survival mode is, um, right down to uh, the creepers and zombies and skeletons, and, and part of that is because I've got a different take on what those represent in uh, Minecraft, and I'm not going to click on anything else other than to create my new world. <laughs> And as you can tell, I am in school and everybody is heading home right now. So we're just going to wait while it loads the world and builds the terrain. And right out of the box, uh, you know, some things to keep in mind. Uh, just like in real life, uh, you're going to need to find shelter. You're going to need to find food and you're going to need to start acquiring uh, the materials that you need to uh, create tools so that you can survive in your new world. Now what's really neat about Minecraft is it has a number of these things called biomes and if I hit um, I'm on a Mac but if you hit function F3 you're gonna see that there are a number of different types of biomes and in the left hand side of my screen, the second line up from the bottom, you're going to see that this is called the plains biome. And uh, as you go through, there's desert, there's birchwood, there is uh, swamp. Um, there are a number of different biomes that you can explore. Now it's going to take a little bit to render, but if you look in the towards the middle of my screen right now, you'll see that mountain forming in the background. There are animals in um, Minecraft and I'm gonna see if I can get that cow to come right to the center of the screen here you might see it in the distance now cows are neat uh, not only can you use them for milk and food and leather uh, but you can also get them to breed if you have um, wheat now you'll notice that this one cow way up here has somehow managed to get himself on top of the trees. So Minecraft uh, rules aren't quite the same as real world rules, um, but it just makes the game that much more fun. So what I'm going to do right now, and, and Minecraft is kind of like an old school game where you can move around with your mouse. Whoa! You can move around with your mouse and you use the letter keys W, A, S, and D to move forward, backward, left, and right. So if I hit the S key right now, I'm going to move backwards. If I hit the W, I move forwards. A moves me to the left. D moves me to the right. And if I change direction with my mouse, I can spin myself around. So while I'm walking and I'm pressing W and S and D I can start to get different directions 
Now I also see that I've got horses. Now horses, once you've got a saddle, you'll be able to uh, tame the horse and you can ride it and you can put armor on it and there's all sorts of neat things that you can do. We've got some more horses over here. And it looks like in this particular biome, I've got a mushroom. And looks like I found a pumpkin. I'm going to grab that because I can eat those later. Once I make myself a bowl. So let me just grab this pumpkin real quick. I'm going to grab a couple more while I'm here. Now, here's what needs to happen. When you first start Minecraft, you know, you'll have all these things and you'll want to explore and see what's going on. But let me make a recommendation to you. The first thing that you want to do is dig some dirt or cut down some wood and create yourself a house. Now, I don't have any tools yet, so I'm just going to use my hands. And you're going to notice that it takes a while for me to get through the tree. But you'll see that in the bottom of my screen, my inventory is starting to fill up. So I've got four pumpkins right now, and the more wood I cut down, the more I accumulate. Now this is important because when you think about Minecraft, there are basic building components um, that you work with. And initially, you don't have anything in the way of tools, and so you're going to have to craft them. And to do that, you're going to have to have a crafting table. But you can't have a crafting table until you've got the wood to make a crafting table. So I'm going to harvest this tree, and I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do so that you can survive your first night in your Minecraft world. All right. Now I could stay at this for a while, but to do it this way without tools, it's going to take a very long time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for a spot where I can make a house. Now I like mine up a little high at first. And if I look up in the sky, I'm going to try to figure out where the sun is and which way it's going. And it's kind of hard to tell, so I'm going to see if I can just point myself in the right direction, because I like to have it. Right now it looks like I am facing east, and now north. So I'm going to come over here, come to about 90 degrees. So if I'm facing in this direction right now, this is where the sun will rise in the morning, and then I'll know when it's safe to come back out of my house. So what I'm going to do for the moment is I'm going to start digging a little hole so that I can create the basis for what will become my home. Dig a little foundation for myself here. I apologize if there's a bit of a lag. I've got my browser running in the background still. And uh, I'm a bit of a techno junkie, so I've got about 15 tabs open in Chrome and my computer doesn't always agree with me and uh, the fact that I'm a little loose with my resources. Okay. So I've got myself a nice little spot here. And if I hit the E button, you're going to see that I now have my inventory. Now, if I change and I put my wood in this little crafting box up here, you're going to see that with the 17 dark oak wood, <clears throat> well, let me do it this way. I'm going to put one piece of wood in there. And this is where we can start talking about math. For every piece of wood that I cut, I can get four Matthew planks. Lurie, please come to the front office. Matthew Lurie, please come to the front office. Thank you. Now, planks are important because you can build with them. And if I have four planks, and I go one, two, three, four, you'll see that I can get a crafting table. 
And I, like I said earlier, the crafting table is important because that is what helps you uh, build things. So I'm going to take eight of my pieces of wood. And if I split those in half, notice over on, whoop, sorry, not those. I need to get planks first. So I'm going to take my eight pieces of wood, and if I have four oak wood planks, we know that I'm going to have 32 planks to work with. Now if I take my planks, and I'm only going to use half of them, so if I click on them and then I right click, it will take half of that. And if I take half of that again, and I put the planks on top of each other, you're going to see that for every set of two planks that I put, one over the other, I'm going to earn four sticks. So I'm going to have how many sticks by the time I'm done? 32. And so, you know, when we start talking about how do you apply this back to math, what better way to get kids thinking about what they need in terms of resources than to do the math to say, all right, in order for me to build a house that is X number of blocks wide by Y number of blocks deep, I'm going to need to have, you know, so many pieces. So it's a great way to start talking about the realities of costs and materials. All right. I'm going to hop out here. If I hit escape, I'm going to come back to the screen and I'm just going to put my uh, crafting table right down over here. Now see with the crafting table I've got a 3x3 three three block unlike the 2x2 two two that I had before. So now I can do more with it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my sticks and I am going to take my planks and if I arrange them in this way you'll see that I can get an axe. Now that I have my axe I can come over to these trees and you'll see that it's faster for me when I'm actually hitting it to cut down the tree. So the use of tools makes things a little faster and more efficient. Yay! I've just earned the achievement getting wood! So I'm just going to take some time here to cut down this tree because what I want to do is use the wood to help frame my house for the night. And I need to do this relatively quickly because the sun's going down and when the sun goes down all the nasty little critters are going to come out. Now one thing that you can do in an emergency is just burrow down into the hole and wait for daylight. And unfortunately, when you first get going, until you can make yourself a bed, that's exactly what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to work your way through the night because you're not going to be able to sleep and wake up in the morning. In order to make a bed, you need to have wood and you need to have wool. And so somewhere, we're going to have to go find ourselves some sheep and we're going to have to shear those sheep so that we can get their wool. I'm going to keep digging away here and you'll see that some of these pieces of wood appear that they're coming back and that's just because I'm getting a little bit of lag on this system here. Asking it to do too much and not giving it enough in the way of resources. All right, playing, 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 cutting, cutting, cutting. Now, right now, what I have is a wood axe. And the more rudimentary the tool, the less that they last. So if you take a look at my axe in the lower um, right-hand corner of my screen, you're going to see that there's a little red line underneath it. What that does is it tells you how much life or how much use is left in that. And when it runs out, as it should in just a moment, um, let me see if I can get this to do it for us. You're going to see the axe disappear. So when you've used a tool beyond its useful life, that tool disappears. I'm going to go collect all my pieces of wood that I've harvested here. Did I miss anything? I also like to clear out some of the grass. There we go. 
Now that red line is almost gone. And when it goes away, so too will my axe. There it goes. I no longer have my axe. Okay, so let's go collect all these pieces of wood that we've harvested. Let's see if we can... build ourselves a house with it. Now I'm a little bit particular, so I'm going to make that go away so that I can... Uh... Sorry, I got quiet all of a sudden. I realized that it's getting dark out and I'm running out of time, and so I don't really have the luxury of being finicky with this. I'm going to have to get going here. Otherwise, the creepers and such are going to come out, and I am going to be in a world of trouble. Uh oh something's trying to get me. Oh, look at that. Zombies. All ready. And, oh, and look at that. See? So this is one of those things where when you die, well, at the beginning, you end up going back to the very start of where you um, spawned. So now I've got to go back, and I've got to go find... Wherever it is that I just built that house. And try to steer clear of all of the nasty little critters. I've got a feeling this is not going to go well for me, my first venture out. Because now the spider's coming after me. And I have no means by which to really defend myself. All right, I've got a feeling that I'm going to croak. It's been nice knowing you all. Now the skeletons are out, and I'm going to see if I can hide in the water. Nope, the spider's coming after me. That's just not nice. Anyway... Oh, now here comes the skeleton. Look at that. They're all ganging up on me. So, what have we learned from this lesson? We've learned that in order for us to survive, we need to have shelter. All right. Well, that's it for...